Today we will learn that how to create dependent drop-down list in Excel. Here you can see we have created dependent drop-down list in first column we have one drop-down list which is showing the names of the states, as Abu Dhabi, Dubai Sharjah and so on. And in next column we have cities names drop down list which is dependent on state names. And in same way in next column we have airport names this drop down list is dependent on city names. As the name of main drop down list is changed next depending list automatically will change because this drop down list data is depending on previous drop down lists. Suppose we have data like this. Here we are showing different UAE 7 states names. In next columns at the top we have mentioned the name of that state and down the name of cities of each state. As you can see here that under Dubai there are these cities names as shown below. And in same way at top we have mentioned the name of next state and down we have mentioned the names of cities of that state. Let's start that how this dependent drop down list is created. Suppose we have table like this, in first column we have state names, we want to create drop down list of these states names. It is good first remove space between the names, if we have space between the states names this can affect the results of the dependent drop list, so this space we can remove in this way. First press Ctrl A, as sheet data is selected, press Ctrl F, in find tab press space button, and then press replace tab and write there underscore sign or you can write any sign just to fill the space, underscore you can write by pressing shift plus minus sign button. Then we'll get this underscore sign. After writing this press replace all button then we'll get this underscore sign between all values where we have space. After this we will select first states column, and from top taskbar we'll select formula tab. From there we will select create from selection option. After selecting this automatically we will get shortcut name of this selected area. Top first value will be the name of this selection, as top name is states so this will be name of down area values. This you can see from here just left side of formula tab, as states shortcut is selected it is showing the name of selected area, in same way we will create shortcut tabs for all cities. Top state name will be their header shortcut name and down there will be city names of that state, so in this way we can create shortcut tabs for all states. Here you can see shortcut tab is showing the names of all states, when I am selecting any state it is showing the selected area down that tab. So in this way when I am selecting any state name that tab is showing me selected area, that these cities are under that tab. I have created two worksheets, for your easy understanding. Same work you can do on single page if you need, but for your understanding I have placed data or source information on one sheet and others on next sheet. Here we will apply our function or dependent drop down list, as we need this drop down box under state names, so here we will place our cursor and from top taskbar we will select data. Under data option we'll select data validation from here, after pressing data validation option, we will get data validation form from that form we will press drop down box. And we'll select list option. As list option is selected that form will show as source option there we will write equal sign and after this we will write states that we need list or drop down box of states. After writing this we will press OK button, as OK button is pressed we will get drop down list of states, so our first drop down list is ready. Now you can see there is tab as this tab button is pressed there are names of all states so from this list we can select any state names. And in next column we can create dependent drop down list of cities, that as any state name is selected we will get the name of that state cities. We will repeat the same work as last time we did, in next cities column in C5 cell we will place our cursor and we will select data validation option from data tab. And we will apply drop down list as applied in last column, as data validation form appears on our sheet from that form we will select list option. And in source tab we'll write equal sign after writing equal sign, we will write in direct, after writing this we will place open parentheses sign, we can get this sign by pressing shift plus 9 button. 
After writing this we will select B5, last column where already we have applied drop down list, as the name from that list is selected, here we will get the names of the cities of that state. As B5 is selected function will place dollar sign automatically along with that cell reference number. After this close the parentheses, by pressing shift plus zero keyboard button. After this press OK button, now our dependent drop down list is ready. As you can see in first column we have selected Dubai state, so in next column we will find out the city's names drop down list which are under Dubai state. From scroll bar you can go up and down to see the all names of the cities. If from state column name of any other state is selected this city's drop down list will show us the city's names of that state, so this city's drop down list is depending on state's names. Here we have created one more column of airport names, for this dependent drop down list we have created one more page, that under each city we have how many airports and what are their names. If any city of any state is selected it will show us airport name of that state, if that state do not have airport show us this message, do not have airport, for this we will create shortcut tabs. We will select the city's names column along with airport names column on same time, and from main taskbar we will select formula tab, from define name option. We will select, create from selection, option like this, and will do the same for all cities one by one to create shortcut tabs for all cities, as create from selection option is selected. We will get form on our sheet, from that form we will select left column option, that we need this airport option depending on left cell names. After creating these tabs we will apply dependent drop down list as already we have created. So in this way we will create the tabs of all cities airports which are linked with cities names, you can see these tabs names on left side of the formula bar. So we will create the shortcut tabs one by one for all city names like this, after completion of this work, we will apply dependent drop down list for airport column. We will do the same steps as we did earlier, just here our airports names will be depending on city names. We will place our cursor inside D5 cell under airport column, from taskbar we'll select data option, from data option we'll select data validation option, and from data validation drop down box we will select list option, and in source column we will write equal sign after writing this we will write in direct after this we will place open parentheses sign, then we'll select C5 from last column, city's names cell, that if name of any city is selected we need the name of airport of that city. After selecting C5 close the parentheses and press OK button, now our airport dependent drop down list is ready. Now you can check this by changing cities names and by changing states names. Now here you can see our all three drop down lists are ready. Second and third drop down list are dependent drop down lists. These drop down lists are depending on first drop down list. When we are changing the value of any list, the next list is also changing. Here you can see how these drop down lists works. Now you apply the same function on your sheet and update me this function is working or not. If need more clearance or need this Excel sheet can find out this Excel sheet link from description. If you like this video please thumbs up. Share and subscribe my channel Setline Excel for more great videos.